Hello and welcome to Giroppad. In this brief video, I will be showing you how to register your account, how to navigate your dashboard, how to create your profile, how to access your learning program, participate in the full learning journey, and to manage any notifications and messages in your Giraffepad account. Registering your Giraffepad account is a very straightforward process. You will be sent an email from giraffepad at giraffepad.com via your trainer that will look a little like this. It will have the name of your trainer and the name of your program. And as you scroll down, you'll see you have this button here asking you to verify your account. Click on that button. And that will take you to a page that looks like this. Complete your details, your name, your last name, your password and confirm, and then click on create your account. Once registered, it will take you straight into your GiraffePad account. For all future times when you want to access your GiraffePad account, please visit www.giraffepad.com and just simply click on sign in. Once signed in, your dashboard will look a little like this. On the main area, you'll have the program that you've been invited to, which will have everything you need to participate in that full learning journey. On your side menu, you have a calendar, which will have all of your live sessions, all of your activities and questionnaires automatically populated. You have your messages inbox with little notifications to tell you you have unread messages. Over on the right side here, you'll have a little blue badge here of any notifications of activity from your trainers. So if they've uploaded new resources or added objectives, for example. And on the right hand side here, you have your profile here, which is where you can access your profile, your help pages for resources to help you navigate GiraffePad and where you can sign out to. Okay, so the first thing to do is to create your profile and this will be displayed to your trainer and just creates that familiarity to your account uh, for your trainer to see you, to understand a little bit about you. Click on your name up here, click on my profile, and you'll see here you can upload your profile image either from your desktop or just as easy on your mobile. You can also complete your bio about yourself to tell them a little bit about you and ignore this bit down here unless you are a training provider and want to pay for your account. As a learner, you'll never need to pay for GiraffePad. And so once you've uploaded your photo and completed your bio, it will look like this and your photo will appear at the top of the screen here. Now to access your learning program, you simply click on the tile on the dashboard and it takes you into the program page. Okay, on the program page, you'll see at the top, there'll be a description where your trainer may have described the program you're going through and given you some important information. Then as you move down, you'll see you've got the group chat, which will have all the other participants in your program, including the trainers and facilitators. If you open up this box by clicking on it, you'll see that the chat is all loaded and you're able to add your messages in here, add images if you choose to, and obviously any emoticons if you want to. As you move down the page, you'll see the program objectives that the, uh, the facilitator has created for you that uh, explain what you're going to gain from your program. On the right hand side, you'll have the trainer profile here, um, which explains and introduces you to the various different trainers you might be working with. You can see there's two or three on here. Little yellow badges here show you've got a private chat message with that particular trainer, so you can click on that box there. This area here will be your timeline now, depending on the program you're on as to how long or big that might be. But each of these blue sections will have a series of live sessions, either virtual or face-to-face, -face, activities for you to complete or questionnaires for you to complete as well. If you had a little red overdue box on there, that simply means that the due date has passed and you need to complete that for your trainer. As you move down the page, you can add your own personal learning outcomes in here, which is very handy for your facilitators to know about. And then there's also the generic program resources here, which you can download or view. You can watch any videos that have been uploaded. And you'll notice as well, that actually, you're also able to share resources with your group. And so the little image here will show you who has updated, who has uploaded those particular resources into the group section. At the bottom, you can add your own resources. So you may have to share stuff privately with your trainer, which is how you add the resource here. And then you can up the file, upload the file or add the web link. And once it's uploaded, and as default, it will be private to your trainer, you do have the option to either delete it from here or actually share with the whole group if that's relevant too. So the learning journey on your program page is where you'll participate in the active program that your facilitator has created for you. This will be as long or as small 
based on the context of the programme that you're participating in, and there can be as many or as few sections and as many different items on there as is relevant to that programme. So this is purely an example. Within the learning journey, you'll have these blue bars, which are like dividers in a, uh, an old school folder, if you like. If you click on one of them, it opens up, and in there you can see the relevant parts of that part of your learning journey. And they will be a combination of questionnaires, activities that the trainer has set for you, and live events, whether they're virtual or in-person events. And as you click through the various sections, you can see you can have different combination of those for you to attend. If you've completed or attended, there'll be a green tick. If you haven't attended or haven't completed an activity or questionnaire, there may be a red cross next to it. Now, each of these has their own landing page. So if we go into the live event, for example, you will see on here, you'll have a title for that particular event. You'll have the description of what it's about. You can see we've got the profile of the trainer here again with that private message we haven't read yet. You'll have the joining instructions here. So if it's a virtual meeting, you'll have a join button so you're not looking for a link in your email anywhere. If it's an in-person, you'll have a map here as to where the location is for you to go and attend. The specific event objectives may be in here. You can create personal objectives for this particular event. You can leave your actions and commitments and you can leave feedback. And there may be some resources that have been shared specifically for this event. So not all resources and content is on the program page. They can be curated throughout the various events and activities. And you'll see at the bottom here, you can upload specific resources for this event in here too. Again, the same, they're either defaulted privately to the trainer, or you can actively share them with the rest of the participants. So if we come out of the learning program, and we move back down through here, and we're going to go to one of our overdue activities. So if I click on this section here, you can see I've got an activity that is overdue. So I click on that page and I can see again, there's a description, there's a time that I needed to complete this by, the rather complicated instructions. And again, I've got my objectives, actions, feedback, and any relevant resources loaded up. Once I've completed this activity, if I have the option to complete, it will be here in this orange button, click mark complete, and you'll have the green tick there and that will update this program for your trainer to let them know you've completed this activity. And as we come down through the sections, if we go here, we can see we've got a questionnaire to complete as well. If you click on the questionnaire, you'll see it opens up whatever date we have to complete it by. And again, you've got this button here to start that questionnaire. So when you're ready to start the questionnaire, click on this orange button and you'll see that the questions start to come up. So for example, I can click on here, click OK, and carry on through the questions. Once you've completed that questionnaire, you'll come back into the questionnaire page. Your answers will be stored in here so you can see what you've uh, put in into the various questions you've answered, and then maybe the option to retake the questionnaire if you choose that set by your trainer based on the relevance of that particular questionnaire. Whenever you want to navigate back, you've always got these orange buttons at the top here that take you back into the program page and you can come down to have a look at that learning journey again and you can see that now I've got the tick by the questionnaire because I've completed that and I no longer have any red uh, overdue buttons on my learning journey. Throughout the duration of your learning program, you will be notified of any activity that your trainer has within that program. So if they add any resources or add objectives or add events and activities or questionnaires, and you'll also be notified of any unread messages from the various chat channels that you are attached to. Your unread messages will be indicated here with the yellow. If you click on messages here, and you'll see that the message channels appear. You can click on any of these channels to read the various messages that are in there. So if I click on this one, I can see that channel there. If I click on this message channel here, the yellow badge will disappear and I can see the messages in there. And as you go through these and read all those messages, you'll notice that the yellow badges disappear. There's no more yellow badge there and you won't receive any new notification emails. The notification emails come out once a day, only if you have unread messages or new notifications. So if we go back to the program page and I can see I've got a notification here. I can see that it's telling me my trainer has added a resource for the program. I can click on that and it takes me straight through there. I can also delete that off here because I'm now aware of that and close that down. And at this point, I won't receive any notification email. So if you receive an email, log into DraftPad, read the messages so the yellow badges disappear, check out your notifications, and then you'll only receive an email on days where new messages are created and new notifications are put into your account. 
Enjoy learning.